A spinal cord stimulator is a device that is implanted in the spinal canal that helps block the pain signals from going from the back to the brain. Patients that would benefit from spinal cord stimulation are those that have chronic pain that is usually in the arms, the back, or the legs. And these patients that would benefit are those that may not have a structural lesion like arthritis or a disc that's pushing on the nerve causing the problem, but instead they still have problems from nerve-related pain. And so the blocking of the signals by the spinal cord stimulator helps trick the brain into thinking that there's no pain. In order to determine if you are a candidate for spinal cord stimulation, we typically start with a trial, which is approximately seven to 10 day period, where we test the electrodes to see if they will help with your pain. If you have a significant improvement in your pain, as well as your activity during that time, then we proceed with a permanent implantation. Like any other surgical procedure, there are risks and benefits that come with spinal cord stimulation. The benefits would be significant reduction of your pain as well as improvement in your activities of daily living. The risk would include bleeding and infection as really number one and two, but those risks are low. In truth, the risk of spinal cord stimulation is on par with that of getting an injection like an epidural. Instead of putting in medications, however, we're putting in an electrode for either the trial or permanent implantation. I'm Dr. Chen Yan Wu. My mission at Jefferson is to improve lives. Mm -hmm.